Hi everyone, happy Sunday. So today I need to make a correction video. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blame my um, correction I have to make on stress. <laughs> so when I made my last video on Friday, Miggy, does he or does he not always have to make noise when, I'm, when I turn on the camera? Maggie, come here with that toy. Come here. <laughs> He's such a turd. This is a basketball toy that I bought Magnum for his birthday. Let me show everyone. It has on the top, the bottom it's just kind of squishy. And then on the top, it has some really crinkly paper stuff in it. And Miggy loves it. <laughs> Magnum hardly plays with it, but Miggy loves it. <laughs> and of course, he's going to make noise. Anyways, I don't think you guys will mind. So, my correction that I'm going to blame on stress is that in my last video, talking about Max's problem with his leg, I said that his left leg was the leg that was affected from his spinal stroke, which is called an F. C E. I will put the name of exactly what happened to Max almost five years ago on the screen here if you want to look it up. I will also link a video down below where after we had went to the surgical center and had a CT scan uh, explaining what happened to Max in case you're a new viewer and don't have any clue what I'm talking about <laughs> if you want to watch that video. I actually had to go back and watch that video because my husband and I were having a debate on if his right leg was the bad leg from his spinal stroke or if it was his left leg. Because I was telling all of you it was his left leg. No, it was his right leg, which is the leg that's giving him problems now. So I was totally wrong. And I'm going to blame it on stress. Stress from this whole pandemic and quarantine thing. I actually had to go back and watch my own video where I said it was his, to find out which leg it was. I don't know. How can I forget this? How can I forget this information, information being with these dogs almost 24 seven? <laughs> so yes, I was wrong. The leg that's bothered, giving him troubles now is the leg that was affected from his spinal stroke. So that makes me wonder because it, with that leg, I don't know where he went. He must have went to get a drink. Since it's that leg that is giving him problems now, which that leg will slip out from under him sometimes. Um, and I remember a couple days before I noticed him having problems, the day it snowed or the night it snowed that next morning the deck was really icy and i remember when i let him out that leg kept slipping out from underneath him because of the ice on the deck and i had to get him i had to go out and take him and get him off of the deck because that leg kept slipping out from him so i'm wondering if it is just a pulled muscle um or something that may have happened from that now that uh, my husband so lovingly corrected me <laughs> Look at him. He's even flipping. His leg is not hurting him. He has no signs that it's hurting him. He just every now and then lifts it up real high. Like in the video I showed you on Friday, how he was walking. Because look at him. He stretches that leg out. when the, You know how schnauzers do that big stretch? He stretches it out behind him. So I don't think a lot of people said maybe it's his kneecap. I don't think it is. Um, as you can see, he's putting pressure on it. Um... He seems to have the, what I call spasms, where he's lifting it up real high. Um, when he gets real excited and he's jumping around, um, or when he first gets out of his crate after being in bed at night. So, um, I'm thinking, and my husband's thinking that it's a pulled muscle at this point, but I don't know. Now that I know for sure it's the bad leg, um, who knows what it could be. But like I said... He does not seem in pain at all. He's eating, drinking. He still runs. Um, he puts, like I said, puts pressure on it. Um, he doesn't ike, even when we rub it, because we've been kind of rubbing the muscles in his legs. Um, a lot of people thought maybe he had something in his paw. He has. We see nothing in his paw. Nothing seems to be wrong with his toenails. Um, 
yeah so um not sure so I'm glad my husband corrected me because I would have went to the vet tomorrow telling him, oh, his bad leg's the left leg and the, this is a, his good leg. <laughs> I feel like such a dope. Yes, I do. I feel like a dope. How could I totally be wrong on this? And, and my husband thought his spinal stroke um, was a couple years ago, like two, three years ago. And I said, no, it's been longer. So this, in December of this year, it'll be five years since Max had his spinal stroke. And I can't believe it's been that long. It doesn't seem like it, but anyway, so just wanted to get on and do a quick correction because my husband said, some of your viewers that have been watching a long time, pro time probably think you're an idiot. <laughs> they probably are thinking, Kim, no, that's his, that's his bad leg, bad leg. You're totally wrong. No, no, Miggy, no sniffing, no sniffing him. Yes, I'm still in, I'm in my other pajamas. These are Christmas pajamas <laughs> and some more comfy socks. This is my like uniform now. <laughs> I actually did get yes dressed yesterday though, because we did end up having to go out to the store um yesterday. So I did get dressed yesterday, did put on some makeup, did do my hair yesterday, but today no. I'm trying to keep Max calm. I'm trying to keep him calm and um letting him out um after the boys run outside. I've been letting him go out alone so he can not alone the boys are out there but if I let him out last like wait a couple seconds he won't dart off the um, porch so I've been doing that and then in the morning this morning I let him out first let him do his business brought him back in put him in his crate um then let the other boys out to do their business and then I took Max's breakfast and let him eat it in his crate because in the morning, especially when I'm going to feed them their breakfast, they get very hyper and jumping around and crazy. So um, I fed him in his crate while the other boys were outside and left him in there until I fed the other boys. Just trying to keep him calm and keep him um, walking slow and not trying to not let him run and stuff like that. So, but a lot of people were wondering how he's doing and he's, he's, Seems to be doing okay even though he's having that sometimes looks like spasms and still limping a little bit more than he usually does on that back leg back back leg okay guys hopefully I explained that good enough <laughs> and I do have a horrible memory I have a horrible memory like my grandma did and my mom and uh, I always worry I'm gonna have like Alzheimer's when I get older <laughs> Because my memory is so terrible. And I guess because I just think of Max as normal now after what happened. I don't really pay attention to his leg anymore. Because I feel like he's just a normal dog like the rest of them. Maybe that's why I forgot which leg too. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> but like I said, I'm going to blame it on stress. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope everybody had a great weekend. Um, And we'll talk to you guys I will do a video after we take him to the vet Monday. I take him Monday at 3, so it'll probably be later in the evening when I finally get it up. But I will let you guys know what the vet says um, and if there's anything we're going to be doing for him. So, all right, guys. Talk to you guys again soon. Bye.